is better when you approach it strategically. Uh, so uh, first, when you've made a film, during the first year after you finish the film, it's better to uh, uh, first do the festivals of the of class A, like those who um, who require world world premiere to be on their uh, on their festival, because once you've premiered, those festivals are not going to be interested in in your film anymore. Uh, because they cannot have the world premiere status of your film. So it's uh, for the first year after you've completed the film, it's good to uh, to try and do the bigger guys, the bigger um, uh, festivals. Of course, you need a budget to do that because applications to those festivals are not um, free. But what you can do, uh, if you go to certain places, markets, for example, or... Um, or you've been to festivals with another film or with a friend or whatever, and you've met like scouts or for certain festivals, or you've met directors who know other directors who, who know scouts and stuff like that. And then and you ask them, you write to them and ask them for a discount or ask, ask them for a fee waiver like uh, special codes that you input on the website and then you don't have to pay 50 or whatever euros you have to pay to apply to those festivals. And then once you've done this cycle, uh, hopefully you're going to be successful in that and, um, and you're going to have a couple of selections at those festivals. If that is the case, then um, you will be getting invited in invitations for the festivals of the second year. If not, then you just go out and apply to as many festivals of, uh, as possible. Um, also, take into consideration uh, things like um, even, if, even if you are not uh, getting into the competition of the festival, then there is a lot of competition programs, parallel programs, panoramas, and also a very important thing is a thematic festivals. So with thematic festivals, um, <clears throat> is, um, it, it is worth paying attention to them because um, even if your film uh, or your thing, your content is not specifically a short form documentary, thematic festivals would not care much that this is not a format of a short documentary. If, if it's on their theme, like ecological theme or minority theme or, um, I don't know, uh, any other um, topical, um, topical uh, media content, the um, thematic festivals would not care if it's a film or a web series or um, a web film or um, a set of uh, films. They would not care about the format that you have chosen for yourself. They would care about the theme that you are uncovering uh, in, your, um, in your content that you've created. So please pay attention. And uh, this, uh, these are usually very great. And on those thematic festivals, the audience is usually quite, quite generous and grateful and um, welcoming and, um, you know, open, open to discussion. And so on those thematic festivals, you'll meet a lot of like-minded people. So depending on uh, the type of film, the type of content that you have, and depending on uh, how your first year of distribution went, uh, you might want to take uh, different strategies as to um, as to film as to film festivals. Um, but anyways, um, the, independent of your strategy, the more festivals uh, you send your film to, the better is your chance of, of being selected, of being seen, and of being um, and of being. Um, like invited to physically to a festival. So from my experience, for example, uh, we had a special project that would, um, would help uh, like Ukrainian and European films to, to festivals. And we've done like applications to like over hundred festivals to certain films and then um, just 15 awards, you know? So the math, if you do the math, um, the numbers are important and um, there are so many festivals out there in the world um, that um, there is absolutely uh, a number of festivals for any film on, in any format on any topic.
So there is absolutely audience, festival audience for your film. Please, please do not put it on YouTube only. This is, I mean, because festival because youtube audience they eat content every week on and they don't pay uh like they don't pay as much attention they might want to watch your film by while sitting on the toilet is that what what you want for the content that you've spent uh, uh, like number of months or even a year developing and making and shooting no i mean i mean think about it and uh, festival audiences People who, uh, who first, first of all, the people who select the films, they might be able, even if they, they even if they reject you, they might be able to, um, because first of all, they reject, they might reject you for a variety of reasons. N might not necessarily be your film the reason, because there might be a big. Uh, uh, a big amount of films that they have to choose from. There might be other opinions besides the main uh, festival, um, the, the, the main the main guy who selected. So, meaning that even if you send the film out to to, to festivals and um, not get selected immediately, that doesn't mean this is not a referendum on your film. Absolutely not. That's why you have to you know send it out to as many people as possible. Um, and see about their opinions. And uh, some uh, some um, guys who select films, they can uh, give give you feedback, and you know, or maybe advise you certain other festivals and people who may be useful uh, for you and for your film. So so and this um, circle of uh, people who work in in festivals and on certain they are film lovers they uh, they would definitely appreciate your work much more than uh, guys that guys and girls that watch uh, youtube